the University Grants Commission or UGC has notified guidelines allowing undergraduates and postgraduates to pursue two degrees simultaneously except for the PhD courses. The students will now be allowed to take up specializations in two disciplines of their choice, say maths and history, in either fully physical class mode, a hybrid of physical and online classes, or fully online mode. And the step taken by the government seems progressive. Let us say you are a high school student who is unsure of whether to pursue the sciences or humanities in higher education. Then this policy should be of help to you. Till some time back, graduates in conventional science, technology, engineering and mathematics or STEM were the main targets for recruitment, especially by tech and IT companies, which offer some of the most lucrative careers. STEM, of course, has retained its importance. But today, global IT giants have widened their recruitment focus to those with multidisciplinary exposure. Today, STEAM graduates, where the A stands for arts, are increasingly in demand in the world's largest companies. And this demand will grow hand in hand with that for lateral thinking in a world where competition is cutthroat. In essence, future Indian students will see their employability rise thanks to interdisciplinary study. This also gives students the opportunity to focus on one mainstream undergraduate degree while enrolling in another one that has a vocational focus. A student can acquire multiple skills and have a diverse knowledge base which has the transversible and, uh, and portability impact, which means that the uh, uh, you know, the probability of a person to first of all pursue the career of the interest obviously improves, but also the fact that the probability of uh, finding a job in the labor market also doubles up because of this multi, uh, uh, you know, or the, this diverse uh, knowledge base which the youth or the student would carry with him. And with the, uh, the kind of changes or the, the dynamic nature of a labor market, I think this would really help the youth to become more employable in the labor market. However, uh, you know, one must be really cautious here that while pursuing the, the uh, double degree programs, both the institute and the student have to be really cautious to uh, avoid this additional load bearing uh, and the burnout, which could have an adverse impact on the student. The whole idea for this particular uh, policy is to ensure that there is a holistic, there's a complete development of a student. But if the programs are not being scheduled or being implemented the way it should be or for the purpose, the way it's for which it's being introduced, then it could be a complete fallout. A student can only pursue two full-time academic programs in the physical mode, provided that the class timings for one program do not overlap with those of the other. This will also be only applicable to lecture-based courses, which include undergraduate, postgraduate and diploma programs. Meanwhile, PhD and MPhil programs will not fall under the scheme. But what about exams and course loads? How will students manage that? Experts have told Business Standard that three broad challenges would arise. First, how would the students manage their timetables? Secondly, universities will have to ensure that multiple simultaneous exams don't occur. And third, having to quickly switch focus between diverse subjects would be a challenge in itself for some students. However, universities at their own end should be able to address these issues. Ahmedabad University Vice Chancellor Pankaj Chandra told Business Standard that each institution would have to decide on how it would count courses for multiple degrees. This would be critical in ensuring that students do not have to take double the time to complete two degrees, since that would defeat the purpose of the idea in the first place. Chandra said that it was critical that the students striving to complete two degrees should not be overloaded with too many subjects at the same time, as that would seriously hamper their learning. I feel that rather than taking, uh, doing it completely in a physical mode, if it could be done in a hybrid mode, where it could be done in a physical and an online or both online, 
uh, whichever way. I think this permutation combination would definitely help both the institutes to execute such programs and as well as for the youth or for the students to undertake such programs because they will be able to manage the timelines, they would be able to manage the load. And even they would, you know, uh, spend time in developing the knowledge rather than just, you know, doing it everything in a jiffy. So I think the hybrid mode of implementation of these uh, two degree programs would definitely be, uh, you know, would be required to ensure that it does justice to this policy or this initiative. Meanwhile, highlighting the challenges of this move, a national daily has said that allowing students to pursue two full-time programs in physical mode could prove to be problematic. It argued that academically gifted students or those with economic resources could corner seats, which can be scarce to begin with, in two high demand courses. That is indeed a problem worth considering given India's poor college density. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.